You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you a maker set in our Halloween series. This one is the Harry Potter Snake Bites Candy Maker. We have another Harry Potter set and a bunch of other sets coming up. This one is the, uh, well, it says, Make Tasty Candy Creature Treats. The Snake Injects Candy Venom. Here's everything that's in it. And you inject it with through these little uh, fangs here and then spoon it up and eat it in the powder below. It's a Mattel product. It's definitely not new. And uh, we found ours on eBay a while ago. Had the kit for probably at least a year, maybe. Make gummy creatures with a crunchy candy shell. I see. So you're making a gummy here, you're putting it in here, and you're also injecting it. Sour apple flavor, tangerine flavor, and I'm going to actually do it. So here we go. When I come back, I'll have everything out of the box, and we will get started. All right, here we go. Check out my snake. Tss, without his fangs. Now the fangs go in here. There's holes in those, because that's how that venom comes out. And once that's in, it's in, and you're actually putting candy in here, and then using this plunger to push that through the fangs. And you have a nice little measuring cup. I have to say, the whole kit itself is probably one of the nicest detailed kits I've ever done. I think it's as nice as the Scooby-Doo kit. I think that one had a lot of nice detailed parts. Here's the snake base, your two molds, and they are a rat, a frog, and some type of bug, maybe a spider. I know spiders aren't bugs. People tell me that in the comments, but it's something. All right, there's two there. And then here's the base. Oh, yeah, there's a plastic tray that sits in there. And let's just see. Instructions on setting up. Okay, this just goes in here, it says. All right. Let's see. Does it just push in any particular way? Hmm. I don't like forcing things. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Assemble as shown, that's all it says. It doesn't really tell you. I know this is supposed to tilt. Maybe you just gotta force it. I'll do it here. There, not bad. So then this goes up and down. Okay, because you wanna do this, and I guess you're putting the candy in, in this position, locking it in, and then bringing it back up, and then plungering it out of the snake. Now it calls for warm water, cold water, and three different mixes. So I'm gonna get all the necessary materials now that we've checked out the snake. Very cool. You have to admit, that's one of the coolest maker sets I think I've ever done. The detail and the coloring. Even on his body down there, look at that. The scales, very neat. All right, let's make some candy. All right, here we go. Step one is taking your candy creature mix. And there's plenty in there. Just moving it all around. Okay, so fill to line. All right, let me just read it to you so we know. It says, fill mixing bowl. Mm, I've smelled this kind of powdery candy mix before. Let me mix it up better. Okay, and let's see. Fill hot water to highest fill, I mean fill warm water, not hot, to highest fill line. See there's two lines in there. So let's do that. Okay. Then it says, you know what, let me get one of my bowls here. Two scoops of this powdered mix. And all right, two scoops, I put it in a bowl. Uh, two full level scoops of candy creature mix into a bowl. Stir until dissolved approximately one minute. So this is what's making the gummy. that. 
And it says, oh, approximately one minute, so I'm not going to rush here. Warm water. Just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. Pour mix into creature mold. Refrigerate for 15 minutes. Okay, it looks like a lot of it is breaking up in there. It smells okay, even though it's, what, almost 14 years old? And this goes in the refrigerator for 15 minutes, huh? Rinse mixing bowl. Okay, so after this, then I've got to rinse and clean up and come back. So probably closer to the 15 minutes... Almost all broken up now. I'm guessing at this point it's going to have lumps just because of the age of the mix. I should strain it, but I don't have a strainer handy. I just never know with an old kit what's going to happen, but I think we're close. If I look back at the time, it's probably been at least a minute. All right, here we go. And let's see. So, pour that in. Here we go. I don't know how many it's going to get. I might have to mix another batch. I'm not sure. Let's just see. But let's make sure we can see it, huh? It's always a challenge carrying this to the refrigerator. It'll set up kind of on its own too. So now let me do the next one here. Slide this over carefully. It's nice to have a smooth flat surface to work on, isn't it? Got powder on my fingers. It's getting thicker now. Let me mix this a little bit. Now that I'm getting down to the bottom. Starting to set already. Move quickly. Okay. Ooh, that big lump. You can kind of see what's left in there now. All right. 15 minutes, I'll be back, and we'll do the next step. Okay, so I wanted to get started on the next mix. This is the Venom, the Candy Venom. This is what's going to go in the snake head. So let's get him ready. Take this out your plunger okay that's ready to go so now it says fill water to the bottom line this time the lower level line it says warm water okay then one full level scoop of candy venom stir until dissolved all right I want to make sure I get this, uh, the other one had a little lumps in it, so I want to make sure this one is perfectly clear. Ooh, it's green. I thought, that, I thought for some reason it was going to be red, but that's okay. Let me get another little bowl here. Put that in. You can kind of see it. There's still a lot of good powder in there. And then one full scoop. Let me get the stuff that's really powdery. It smells good, I have to tell you that, so I don't see that it's, you know, gone that bad, if at all. It's just powder. I'm going to have to do this a little bit differently here. I'll take out some of the chunks. 
and I'll pour this in my scoop. Here's what I'm doing. I'm just pouring this in like this now to level this out. Okay, there we go. And then mix this again. Stir until dissolved, all right? Now this one I want to really mix good because it's got to get through those, um, I'm just going to say teeth. I know they're not teeth. Okay. That's actually dissolving pretty good. Better than I thought. Better than the last one. Okay, let me give you a top-down view. There we go. Okay, so reading on, now we got to prepare the candy. After this gets put in the snake. Yeah, looks good. All right, happy about that. You just never know. Pour mix in the back of head, replace plunger as shown, so you just barely put it in. I'm happy with that. That's good. I don't see any lumps. I'm trying to mix it real good here. Okay. So I should be close to getting the gummies out after what I've done here in the time. And here we go. Pour it in the back of his head. And it's pouring out the front, which I don't want it to do. So let me see. Did I do something poor? Can you did not fill to the top? Tilt head forward, pull out plunger. Pour mix, do not fill to the top. Oh, replace plunger, but it's all coming out. Hmm. I wonder if it's too thin. Let me, let me check here, see what's going on. See, it's not supposed to come out here. So I wonder if it needs to be a little bit thicker. Let me try that again. I'll be back. All right. What I did was I'm adding more of the candy venom. I took one of the chunks and put it in there to see if that's a little bit thicker. I wonder if it's supposed to be more gummy-like. Or maybe let it set a little. I'll do that. I just wanted to redo it. I wiped out the, I cleaned that out. There's still a little bit in there, but I poured it back in here so I have the right amount. And now I'm going to go for a different consistency. But that gives me time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the gummies, come back, and then I can do all the steps now. I'll be right back. All right, so averting a malfunction, I thickened it up, but I'm going to wait till the last minute here. Let's do the next step. So they want... Warm water here, it says fill rear with ice water. Okay. And you're actually gonna, I'm actually gonna dip the candy in the ice water. That's what makes that hard coating. I don't see a fill line, but it's probably enough to cover those gummies, so. Which you see in the background, they're all ready to go. And in the front chamber with warm water. Okay, I have that in another container here. Now there is a line there on that one. I see it. And table's not level, it looks like. Okay. Then you put this into here. Looks like I can put a little bit more. It's just touching. It's starting to see the steam. I wonder if I had the water too hot on that first one. That could be too. There we go. All right, now put in this candy mix. Now this is goopy. It's coming out in like this, almost like a cheese style, but I've been kneading it a little bit. Now it says, knead magic petrifying potion until soft. Open the packet, squeeze out coating into tray, stir until melted. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. That's a weird color. Interesting color. I think I can squeeze a little bit more out of that. Here, I want to get as much out as possible. Doesn't say not to put the whole thing in. I 
There we go. That's a better shot, better angle for me. Okay. So besides the green venom, I think we're doing okay. Here we go. So each packet makes two rounds of play, so there's plenty in here. I can make more gummies and keep going if I wanted to. Then a cool color. I have to look at the box just to see what's going on. So it's being heated up here, and then the cold side has a purpose. All right. A little bit more. That's going to harden, huh? I hope it all works. Okay. Happy with that? Now, let's get the gummies out. It says to pick them with your little tool. Here's all my component pieces. Here we go. It definitely set up. There we go. There's my little rat. Hmm, I've got nothing to put them down on. I'll set them here. It's clean. My frog. He had a little overrun there. And now this creature. I believe it's a spider. Okay, there we go. Might as well get these out. I don't know how many I'm going to be able to do. Don't know if it's even going to work. It's a cool set, though. That's all I got to say. It's a cool set. I guess you could really just make your own gummies and experiment your own way. You don't have to use these old mixes. I'm just using them just because I want to see what they do. There we go. We'll save that one. Okay, there they are. Ooh, all right. Here we go. I'm going to wait on the venom to the last possible moment. Okay. Flipping the instructions, it says, remove gummy creature mold from, okay, carefully remove creatures with pointed and a spoon. Dip dummy, dummy. Dip gummy creature into coating, then dip into ice water and let harden for 30 seconds. So it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily say leave it in the ice water, just dip. Oh, cool. Don't fall. Ooh, I just a feeling that was gonna happen. Ooh, don't. We find that hole. Let me pierce it again. Okay, dip in the ice water. And then let sit for 30 seconds. Okay. Well, it says, then dip into ice water to harden for 30 seconds. So that'll be a test. Let me get one of these little guys out, these little mice. Then I'll leave the next one in there and see if it makes a difference. There we go. Get in there. Let's do the next one. I'm just poking them. It's a messy set. Get in there. Okay, I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to keep these. And then let's just check it in 30 seconds and see. That is the strangest color for a candy or a coating I've ever seen. Let's look over at here. That one's not doing much. Oh, look at that. It is hard. It's so hard it's stuck. 
Okay, so that did work. Now I have a hard candy coating. Let's get this guy. Let's redo him. You get back in there. Oops. There we go. This guy back here, hard as a rock. Look at him. Okay. I have to taste it. Hmm. It tastes like um, icing almost. All right. There's enough for me to work with now. The next step, let me redo this here. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your hard candy now and set it there because this is going to come down and pierce its body with the other candy. So here we go. Do you think it's going to work? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pierce it now. It's a little thicker now. Okay. And then squish the venom out. Now that's the last step. It says, place gummy creature in a snake's front coil. Tilt head down. Mm -hmm. Ew, did you hear that? Huh, well I don't know what that was. Let's check this little guy out. No, I don't think he worked too hot. Let's just see if we can, let's see if it squirt. Oh, look at that, see? Let's just see if we can pierce a gummy. I'm not giving up just yet. So it's supposed to pierce like that. Oh, did you see that? That's cool. All right, well, I think it was okay. The mixes didn't work too well. Everything did it was supposed to do. Maybe some experimentation, I'm not sure. But we got through it. I still think it's one of the coolest looking sets I've ever done. And maybe back in 2001 when everything was fresh, it probably did work better. Let me get this one out of here. But you could, you could just see it's all, it does harden, so that works. That process actually works. I'm always curious, you know, as to what's going on here. One more time. Kind of neat. Strangest color I've ever seen. Get in there. Let's try it one more time. At this point, it's just about making a mess, I guess. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a big mess. 30 seconds. Let me get this filled. I wonder if it ever really worked. It's kind of a strange system to try to squeeze this into a gummy. Okay, tilt this back, all right, let's clean his fangs out, get him ready, 30 seconds. Well, you can say I've clearly made a mess, a good Halloween mess, right? All right, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now they're ready to eat. I don't know if I'm going to eat one. I'm definitely tasted component pieces and everything tasted okay. Yeah, look how big it is. Look how... Yeah, I just don't think the candy coating is sticking just right. But I'm going to make a mess because that's what I feel like doing. Now, here we go. Yeah, I'm squeezing and pushing. Mm. Oh, look at that. Now that's a mess. Let me give you a close-up of that. That might be a good thumbnail with the fangs like this. All right. Enough playing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway, even though it didn't work out as expected. It was still fun to figure out. And if you want to see more videos in this series, look in that description for a playlist. Or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. 
Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. You can always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.